Hello everybody, today we're going to do Aria a slightly different and I'm going to do a little liturgy for us, okay, and we're going to base it on Lent. Can you tell me which colour shows and represents that we are in the season of Lent? Any ideas? Hopefully you've said purple at home and purple is a colour symbol that represents that we are in Lent and Lent began last Wednesday. Uh, we had Shrove Tuesday, where some of you may have had pancakes, celebrate Pancake Day. And then on the Wednesday, we know it as Ash Wednesday, and it also marks the start of Lent. We're going to begin our little liturgy today with a little prayer. So if you want to sit yourself in a comfortable place, okay, make sure you haven't got any distractions around you. Some of you like to put your hands together, so you may rest them, okay. And I'm just going to start with a little prayer as we begin our liturgy. Let us pray, God our Father. Through our prayers and acts of kindness during this season of Lent, help us to grow closer to you. Teach us how to bring the good news of your love to everyone, everywhere. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay. Now, let's have a little bit more of a discussion of what Lent is. So Lent, okay, is all about preparing for Easter. A bit like with the season of Advent, we prepared for Advent and the celebration of uh, Christmas Day. Lent, we're about uh, preparing for Easter, okay, and getting ready to celebrate Easter Day. But during Lent, okay, we have lots of time to think about things, okay? And Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. And normally when we're in school, we'd have a special mass to celebrate Ash Wednesday, where Father John would come in and where the palm leaves, okay, being burnt, we have the ash, we have the symbol of the uh, cross on our foreheads to mark Ash Wednesday. And throughout Lent, okay, we are remembering the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, okay, and that he died on the cross and gave his life for us. But we also remember that he rose again, okay, from the tomb, okay, and he rose again. We celebrate new life that way. What we're going to do now is just look here at things we can do to prepare during Lent. So preparing for Easter during Lent, things that we can do, we can pray more, okay? We encourage you to pray more. So it may be that at night time, when you go to bed, you might say a little prayer, or you may say a prayer during the day. You may just stop for two minutes and think, do you know what? Today's a nice quiet time. I'm just going to say a little prayer. It may be a prayer to help somebody. You might be asking for help. It might be a prayer thanking God for something. It might be a prayer where you're just talking to God. Okay? Sometimes you might pray to God. You might pray to Jesus. You might pray to Mary. Okay? So we have thinking about time for prayer. We're trying to set time aside a little bit more and stop for prayer. We also choose kindness okay lent is also about showing kindness okay and being kind we're always encouraging you to show kindness but during lent we focus a, little, a tiny little bit more on things we can do extra above and beyond what we would normally do to show kindness so we think of other acts we can do try something new okay in lent a lot of us sometimes think about giving things up so at home your adults might have given up some of their favorite drinks uh, they may have given up chocolate, some people give up sugar, okay? Some things they try to give up that aren't so good for them, okay? Try something new. If you can't think of anything to give up, then you might think, you know what, I'm going to do something new. I'm going to try something different, okay? We've all been doing lots of walking this year. You might think, do you know what, I'm going to find a new walk to go on in my area with my family. I might try a new food, okay, once a week. So it's not always about giving something up. Sometimes it's about trying something new. Think about how often we pray, pray, or think about how we can show an extra bit of kindness. And especially at the moment, it's really hard and difficult times. So we might just try and go out of our way that little bit more, just to show that extra bit of kindness. Now, having a look here, I put a link, okay, on our wakelet, which would be really nice for you to watch which shows the time that Jesus spent in the desert, okay? So Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. 
and we say this was a very challenging and testing time for him okay he had to avoid temptation he couldn't eat in that time okay and he really had to think about all of these different things okay and he had to think about how he could talk to god in this quiet space okay and think about himself a little bit more but whilst he was there he was tempted by the devil three times okay to do three things and every time he had to stay strong and say no no i won't and sometimes in lent that's why people give things up okay because they're tempted to try and sneak maybe a little chocolate if they said they're giving chocolate up for lent and they think, no i'm going to stay strong like jesus he was tempted and came close but he remained strong and the angels okay they carried him on okay they were there by his side to help him okay and it was a very tiring and testing time for Jesus and we think and we reflect about that during Lent. Now what I would like us to do is just listen carefully okay to a little reading. Normally we'd have a reader in class but I'm just going to read this to us. During Lent we prepare for Easter. Lent begins on Ash Wednesday and it lasts for 40 days. In Lent we remember how Jesus suffered and died for us. When Jesus rose from the tomb on Easter Sunday he showed us that death is not the end. God our Father wants us all to live with him in a life of new peace and joy in heaven. During Lent we prepare for Easter by showing kindness, by praying or by trying something new or by giving something up. And by doing these things we grow in God's love okay, and for other people. So it is really a lot about showing the love okay, that God has taught us to show to so many others. Now, once Jesus came out of the desert, he went to Galilee, okay? And I have a little reading, okay, from the Gospel of Mark. The Holy Spirit sent Jesus out into the desert. He was there for 40 days and was tempted by the devil. He was with the wild animals and the angels looked after him. Then Jesus went to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. He sent, repent! The kingdom of God is near. Believe the good news. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So from spending that time in the desert, Jesus then went to spread the good news. Okay. And Jesus went to Galilee. And the good news is that God is very near to us. He reminded them that God is with us. He is there when we need him. Pray to him. Talk to him. Okay. And he reminded them that God loves us so very much. He told the people to repent. And this is when we change from being selfish or mean, when we stop and we think, well, actually, I know I shouldn't be behaving like that. That is not a nice way to behave and I must repent. And we put God and other people first. We're helping to build God's kingdom of love and peace. So Jesus' good news was that God loves us all and we're to spread this message and that we want love and happiness and peace in our kingdom and with Jesus beside us we can step into Lent with our hearts full of love and courage we can grow closer to God and with our prayers and acts of kindness and charity we can get ready to celebrate Easter so if we can go into this season of Lent with love in our hearts and kindness and prayer we can hopefully have a successful Lent and celebrate Easter together Okay, whilst we think about the good news message that Jesus went to Galilee. Now, what I would like you to do today, I'm going to pop out of shot one minute because I've left it on the table over there, is do, 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 to create a Lenten promise. Okay, now we've got a cross. You might just draw it at home if you've not got a printer. If you've got a card, that's great, but don't worry. If you've got some paper and you're going to write on one side, my Lenten promise. Okay, now I want you to think about something that you can do during Lent. Okay, a bit like when Jesus went to the desert. Okay, if we put those images back up. Okay, found it a very tiring and testing time. So during Lent, I want you to reflect on that time that Jesus spent. And with your Lenten promise, I want you to think about, could you do something that you don't normally do, that you might find a little bit tricky? Could you think of something that new you might take up? Are you going to give something up? Are you going to go that extra mile to show kindness, how are you going to do that? And we're going to try and keep that promise for 40 days, okay? You might ask your adult at home, what are you going to do during Lent? What's your Lenten promise? 
Are you going to try something new or are you going to give something up? Now, I thought long and hard this afternoon about my Lenten promise. I thought, you know, I need to give something up, okay? Now, could give chocolate up, I do like chocolate. And there are a few drinks that I like, but something that I am very naughty at is looking on my phone in an evening, okay? I might be sat watching TV and then I might be just pressing and looking at things. I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm not watching the TV. I'm not looking at my phone properly and Mr Eastwood says, Mrs Eastwood, why are you looking at your phone again? What are you looking at? I said, I don't know. So, my Lenten promise. I promise to not use my phone when I get home from work because at the moment I'm using it to check emails and check things. So whilst I'm in work, I can check my phone, but I've made a promise, which I'm sure my family will appreciate, okay, is that I promise not to use my phone when I get home from work. So I'm going to pop it on the side and leave it there, okay? Now, I've not decorated it. I just want your lovely, neat handwriting for that. Okay, I want it nice and clear. It doesn't matter if your writing ends up going down there. I just wrote my Lenten promise at the top across. It's quite plain, it's quite boring, because during Lent as, Lent as well, it is quite a sad time, okay, when we do think about the sacrifices that Jesus made for us. So it is just a very plain, no pictures, no colour, just my Lenten promise. But on the other side, I would like you to decorate it. I'd like you to think about why and when do you think we might display this part? When would we show our flower part? So during Lent, I will display this. You might pop it on your fridge, you might put it on your wall, okay? You might put it on the mantelpiece, you might put it somewhere to remind you where you can see it. But then, when it is Easter, we're going to turn it over and we're going to celebrate that Lent has ended and that Easter, the season of Easter has begun and it's a sign of new life, which is why I've decorated it with nice colourful flowers because we know that then spring is also upon us and we get to see all this beautiful colour and new life and new beginnings. So I'd love you to really think about how you can decorate that with beautiful colourful flowers at home, okay, ready for the Easter celebration. So please think about flowers and the colours you can do. If you could keep hold of these, okay, because hopefully, okay, we can display these in our classroom very soon okay when we return and whilst you're at home you can keep them up at home okay so i hope you enjoy the activity today and that you also realize that we're now in the season of lent where we may think about praying more we might think about taking up something new or giving something up and we think about going that extra mile with the kindness that we show